Okay, I just want to um, discuss now the, the phases that we have of the Moon. As we know that the Moon has a lunar cycle and goes round the Earth in a period of 28 days. Okay, so it moves around the Earth approximately 12 degrees a day. So if we've got the Sun in this position here, and here's us in the, at the Earth, when the moon's in this position, it's what's known as a new moon. Okay. And it will appear, well, it'll just be dark, our position from the earth, because, of course, the moon is blocking out the sun. As the moon moves round in a period of seven days up to here, that's known as its first quarter. Okay. That's its first quarter there. So it'll be light on this side, dark on that side. Then... Further seven days, the moon moves. So you've got the moon this side, the earth and the sun. This is known as a full moon, a full moon. So because the sun's shining across, we'll be able to see the full moon. So that'll be a full moon observed on this side. Then another seven days later, the moon is moved around to this position here, which is the last quarter. And then finally, back here to what's a new moon again. So you've got seven day tranches. You've got new moon, first quarter, full moon, last quarter. So that's over a 28 day period. And if we have a look in the tide tables, just a very brief look, we will see for Liverpool on the 29th of January, you'll see a black circle and that indicates a new moon. And then we'll see approximately 14 days later, on the 13th of February, we'll see a full moon, which is, is a circle, just a white circle. So a white circle indicates a full moon, and a black circle indicates a new moon. So that's how they're indicated in the chart tables. So that's talking about the phases, the four phases of the moon. And the four phases are new moon, first quarter, full moon last quarter over the 28 day lunar cycle around the earth in relation to the sun's position here.